Good morning. Welcome to the second lecture of this week of ongoing online course on engineering or architectural graphics part 2 and in this particular week we are learning about how to draw exonometric drawings. Yesterday I explained to you what is exonometric projection and what are the various types of exonometric projections, isometric projection being one of them. And what we are going to continue in the remaining four lectures of this week is how to draw exonometric projection which is what we are treating as synonymous to military projection. So today we are going to look at how to draw 2D objects or planar figures, quadrilaterals, circles and curves in exonometric drawing. Very simply, if we have to draw any rectilinear object in exonometric drawing and if it is in a plane parallel to HP, there is no change in the object, it is just rotated by 45 degrees which is what the concept of exonometric drawing is. So, if we are looking at this square in plan, this square will remain a square, it is just that it will rotate by 45 degrees. So, what we will have? Whatever the dimension is, we will have the same dimension here. The angle which we will take is 45, 45 and since it was right 90, this will remain as 90 and the dimensions remain exactly the same. Now, if this square was a plane perpendicular to both the planes, then now here you must uh, remember that where this axis is. So, the axis I am talking about the uh, reference planes. So, we are assuming that the axis is like this and there is a reference plane like this and there is another reference plane like this. This is what we are seeing. Okay? Now, if we have to, uh, if this plane, the square plane was perpendicular to both the planes, then what we have? So, you can for your reference, you can draw these axis again, this is 45, 45 and 90. Okay? So, what we have here is 45 perpendicular, perpendicular and this and the dimensions remain exactly the same. And if it was a plane which was perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP, we would have drawn it here with the same dimensions. So, 40, 40, 40 and this is how the square plane which is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP would look like. Okay. It is easiest to draw them in plans using exonometric. If it is a rectangle, again we can simply see how we are making this rectangle. So, what we are doing here is just making a simple rectangle, the angle remains 90. Okay. If it is parallel to HP. Now, if we have it perpendicular to HP and VP both, again what we would do is we would make it the vertical 45 vertical and 45 and the dimension will remain the same. If it is perpendicular to HP but parallel to VP, so we have the same thing here but the other side. right? So, it is 45 perpendicular, 45 perpendicular. Now, you have to again remember the same fundamental. If we are talking about a height, a vertical edge which is vertical to the horizontal plane, the reference plane, it will appear as a vertical line, a straight line and the parallels remain parallel. So, which is what we are seeing? If it is parallel to this, it will always be seen as parallel. Okay? these two are parallel, these two will appear to be parallel in whatever plane in whatever position we will view it in exonometric. Now, triangle, if we were to draw this triangle in plan, it is very easy unlike in isometric, what we will do simply here is, now this is, this is the triangle here, I could, I may not even need this PQ. Okay? So, what all I will have to do is that this line AB I will draw at a 45 degree 
okay. And then from this I can take this length, this length and draw. So, I can simply reconstruct the triangle or if I am not knowing what the dimension of what, what is the length of these sides because this angle will change. So, if it is 45 we would know that this is 45 and this is 45 the angles will remain the same with reference to this line and total we would know ok. So, I should draw it correctly if this is 45 and if we take this as 45 then this side will appear to be a perpendicular line and then this is 60. So, probably I am doing some error in checking the angles, but this is how it will be or alternatively you could draw the rectangle and then arrive at the point C by measuring this distance. Okay. So, all we are doing is taking this. Now, if we were to draw it in a plane which is perpendicular to both the reference planes, we will do the same thing as we did for isometric. So, we will locate the point and it will become slightly skewed, but this one remains 45 ok. And the same we did we will do here on the other side, we will identify the point with the help of this rectangle and then we get this. It is only when the plane is parallel to HP that these angles remain the same, but in both the other planes the vertical planes the angles will not be the same and we cannot measure ok. So, that you have to keep in mind it is very easy to draw the plans uh, the uh, in a plane which is parallel to HP using using exonometric that is the reason why exonometric drawing or military drawing is more commonly used for making architectural plans ok. Again so if you remember these examples we are taking the same examples as we took for isometric drawings and I am just drawing it very fast showing you that it is the procedure is exactly the same as isometric drawing, but the resultant figure will be slightly different from what we got in isometric simply because there is a different angle that we are looking at it from. So, if it is this again 45 45 you draw the rectangle or if you knew the angles you could measure the angles and draw the. So, this we can take the distances and then arrive at these points. So, this is how your quadrilateral is going to look like ok a polygon is going to look like. Again if you were to look at it in vertical plane you will measure arrive at these points and draw very similar to what we have been doing in isometric. Just that your parallel lines will remain parallel and you can measure these distances. Okay. Similarly, you can draw the uh, pentagon plans remain the same. We might not need to draw the rectangles if it is only going to be seen in the plan. You can directly rotate this entire drawing by 45 degree which is how we were doing in orthographic projections if you remember. So, if we were seeing a plan which was rotated by 45 degrees we would draw the plan and rotate it by 45 degrees which is what we can we can do ok. So, we do not need to arrive at this by drawing a, an enclosing rectangle we can directly draw the, the, the plan the pentagon, but if we are to take it in a plane which is perpendicular there we will need 
the reference rectangle. Okay. So, that is what the procedure is going to be. So, for drawing the vertical planes the procedure is exactly the same as isometric drawings, isometric projections and for plans it is much simpler, it is just a simple rotation of 45 degrees. So, any drawing for that matter you can take, I can start with this. So, 45 degrees of hexagon here and we can use the same uh, process as we did uh, for the geometrical construction. I do not even need to make this rectangle and we can arrive at this uh, hexagon by geometrical construction. Okay. This is in plan when it is seen in plan. For the elevation again use the reference rectangle and you get the resultant object. You could do it for the other vertical plane. Now, the circle is very interesting. So, the circle in plan will appear to be a circle because the angles do not change. It remains 90 degree only. So, the square which contains the circle remains the square. If we were to look at it uh, as the process which we got from isometric projection. So, the center remains the center and the distance all these distances are the same. So, the circle will be a circle in plan in exonometric in military projection. So, we will not get an ellipse if we are seeing it in plan, but when we are drawing it here. So, try drawing this. This is the square which encloses and now if you see this, so though these distances, these four distances they remain the same, but the angle has changed it is not 90 degree anymore. So, what you will probably get when, uh, when you use the same isometric projections, we will get approximately sorry this the same procedure as we got for the isometric using the same centers and it will be an ellipse which is what we will arrive at when we draw exonometrix 2. It is just that the angle is slightly changed and the same thing to the other side. We will get these four points the midpoints. draw the perpendiculars you get the centers use the same process exactly and you get an ellipse, but it is slightly different from how you would have arrived the shape that you would have arrived at in isometric projections. That is what we are getting. So, this is more or less it appears like an isometric because probably the angles that I have taken it is less than 45, but if you take exactly 45 this is you will get a flatter ellipse, a very skewed ellipse because the, the vertical planes they get quite skewed in exonometric uh, projections. The same exactly the same thing we will do when we are doing semicircles. So, if you look at this, this is where our semicircle is going to be. So, in the plan the semicircle will remain a semicircle, it will not change to be an ellipse. Now, draw this in vertical plane. Uh, 
n we get the same thing. So, we have these points, but the angle has changed. So, again we will extend and what we will get is a skewed semicircle like this. So, we do not need to complete, we just need to arrive at the centers for drawing this. Okay. So, arriving at the centers and then drawing the curved part of this semicircle. So, this is how we are going to be drawing the exonometrix. You could take any shape or uh, you know any orientation all we have to understand is that what is the plane which is containing is it parallel to HP it is perpendicular to HP perpendicular to VP. So, what its orientation is going to be and then accordingly we will start drawing these shapes. So, I will stop here for my second lecture where we have covered all the two dimensional objects you can try working them out all we have to do is identify where this the center is going to be. So, I am just drawing it in plan you can draw it in the vertical plane. So, what we have done here is exactly located the centers of this and the circle the quadrant remains a circle straight. Now, try drawing it in vertical planes both the vertical planes and see the kind of shape do you get and how different this shape in exonometric is from the isometric drawing. So, thank you very much for joining with me today in this lecture. In the le next lecture in fact, in the remaining lectures we will start going over the 3D objects and how to draw them in exonometric. So, thank you very much for being here with me have a great day bye bye.